In this video, we look at downsizing your home, when you should do it, how to do it the right way, and why you would actually want to do it. That's starting right now. Welcome to Home Buyer School, brought to you by Brookfield Residential. Hi everyone, I'm Carl. Welcome to another Home Buyer School video, a channel where you get the latest strategies, tactics, and tips from home buying experts. And remember, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to get the latest strategies from the experts, hit the subscription button below, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today I'm joined by Kevin French, Realtor with Remax Realty. And the question we're going to answer, or actually the topic we're going to talk about today is downsizing your home. So Kevin, why would somebody, first of all, why would somebody want to downsize their home? Uh, usually it's older people that are empty nesters and their mm -hmm. property was built for their entire family and now the family has moved, the children moved out and now they have too much space. Um, other than that, it would be uh, uh, younger people mm -hmm. that have too much space. They bought something they thought they'd need and now it's just a lot of square footage that's not being used. Are you finding a lot more of that? Like not the empty nesters, but more younger people thinking, oh, I have way too much space. More than you would probably think. Uh, a lot of people assume that all downsizers are empty nesters mm -hmm. and that they want to get rid of the home they've lived in for 30 years and then buy a, a townhouse or a smaller bungalow or something mm -hmm. like that. But there are a lot of people who are shopping now and understanding this isn't what I need. This is more than I need. Mm -hmm. So why am I buying that? So it yeah. might give them the opportunity to spend the same amount and just get a nicer property or a property that's located in a different neighborhood that's a little more expensive, but a smaller property than they were originally shopping for. And if I wanted to downsize my home, regardless of the reasons, how do I go about starting that? Do I just start finding a home that's much smaller than the one I have now in the same neighborhood? Uh, you, you probably, like it, it depends on the demographic and mm -hmm. what they're looking for. Let's use uh, empty nesters, mm -hmm. for example. A lot of them are going south in the summer, or sorry, in the winter. Yeah. So they're looking for something that is lock and leave. They want a townhouse, or an apartment style condo mm -hmm. so they have the ability to have all their the exterior of the property taken care of and they, they have, there's a little more safety in, in owning a property where there's so many attached neighbors so therefore they can leave the property for months on end and then pay the bare minimum mm -hmm. um, in terms of utilities and then that's what they're typically looking for if you go onto the other side um, where it's younger younger people mm -hmm. that don't want as much space as they've once had they're looking for just a smaller smaller property within the community they already live yeah. in or even the community they wanted to live in more than that and should I actually um, downsize my home to pay off some debt? So I'm like, oh, let's say I'm heavily in debt. Should I actually go out and doing that, regardless if I'm an empty nester or for a younger person? Uh, Is it really? Yeah, a yes, I would. I would say yes for sure. If you if you have no need for 600 square feet of your 2,000 square foot home, mm -hmm. why live in a 2,000 square foot home? Yeah. If you can reduce your monthly output and then use some of the equity that's gained in your current property to pay off debt, which I have lots of clients that have done that, mm -hmm. moved into a 1,200 square foot townhouse from a 2,000 square foot home. Mm -hmm. So a detached home that might be $500,000, mm -hmm. now they're into a townhouse that's 350. You know, take any equity that you have, distribute it as necessary, and then live a smaller live with smaller monthly payments. But wouldn't like so devil's advocate on that wouldn't be like let's say you you know you could downsize but wouldn't the equity that you're building with a with a bigger home um, over the long term offset the 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 payments like I guess the payments that you'd have uh, when downsizing the equity would offset the payments so like you know the equity that you've gained from a larger home if you downsize obviously you get less equity from from that house you right? get less equity but it's not about um for those sellers or buyers mm -hmm. whichever end we're looking at yeah. it they're not their goal isn't to change isn't to think about in 25 years from now what am i going to get out of my property it's that they're taking on a smaller mortgage mm -hmm. that they can presumably pay off sooner and then have a lifestyle that they they don't want to wait for that lifestyle 15 or 20 years down the road yeah. they want to capture on that lifestyle yeah. now and stop living in excess essentially it's not over the top mm -hmm. they just have space that they don't need and that they don't use on a daily basis so why bother paying for it yeah. you're just paying to heat that you're paying taxes on that and you're paying Correct. a mortgage on things yeah. that you never utilize so what let's say you are ready to downsize or you thought about hey you know what i have too much space or i need to downsize um when's the best time to do it like do you just hey now let's just start as quick as you can or do you actually wait similar like you buy another house um, now is the, now is yeah. the time to do it, particularly mm -hmm. for the empty nesters, because, and I'm not saying that they need to sell their homes tomorrow, or they mm -hmm. should. I'm saying now because start the process. In, in my experience, empty nesters take about three years to move. 
Mm. So they think about it, they talk about it, they discuss it with their family, mm -hmm. and then it's a very long process of what they want to do next. A part of it for some people is denial that they don't need to. They can take care of a 3,000 square foot home. Um, they can take care of the, the lawn maintenance and the snow shoveling. And it's not that they can't, even when they do sell, it's, it's all about lifestyle choice. Yeah. If you want to live maintenance free living where you don't have to shovel and you don't have to mow lawns and you don't mm. have to worry about home maintenance on your older property, I would suggest that they start doing the process now because it usually takes more than they, more time than they think. Mm -hmm. um, and then they've usually accumulated a lot in the time that they've lived in the home, which they need to downsize. Um, anything else to add in terms of downsizing? Uh, no. Good. no. Perfect. And so the question of the day I have for you is, have you actually downsized from your current house or thinking about downsizing and why did you do it? Or why are you thinking of doing it? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you want to learn more about home buying and the home buying process, check out our videos here and make sure to hit the subscription button below with the little notification bell so you keep learning from the experts. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in our next video.